hello and welcome to The Sound. Today marks the beginning of Season 2. After a well-deserved break, I'm back to my reactions now. Music Teacher Reacts 2 series. That's right. And you know what? I want lots of comments from you guys. Please let me know what you guys would like me to react to. Please like, share, and subscribe for me right now. Do your best. Let's get people to see this. This has been requested many, many times today. Uh, the, this this duo of songs that I'm going to be reacting for to for you guys. Um, Nightwish. You guys know that uh, in season one of The Sound, I reacted to uh, Vakin 2013. The entire concert, one song at a time in my random order. And... Um, Although there was definitely uh, some challenges with the audio, those challenges are fixed now for Season 2, and we're going to have a super high-quality audio stream for you guys. This has been my most requested and the winner of the poll that I put out for what song should start off the Season 2 of The Sound. Today, without further ado, Music Teacher reacts to Nightwish, How's the Heart? the official lyric video, and double feature. I'm also going to react to Nightwish, How's the Heart, live acoustic from the Planet Rock Acoustic Sessions.
vocals at the end man that was awesome full sounding bass all the way wow that was really awesome so i i I don't have many complaints about what i've seen from nightwish so far in fact i would have to say i would only have one complaint from watching and enjoying all of vok in 2013 was though there was no slow songs like there was no rock ballad, there was no spiritual ballad, which is okay. It's okay. I mean, you know, the whole show was was just it was face melting, and I mean, there, there was some songs that were a little slower, but they were more like that. The How's the Heart? Where they were kind of like, you know, it it had the ballad feel, but then it also had like this partying jiggy kind of feel at the same time, and um. I really like that. I really love when when Troy and Empu play together. Um, the introduction right off the bat, you know, after the heart beating, they, they come slamming in with that bright sounding, uh, you know, the guitar and the pipes together. Oh, man, it just sounds awesome. Flora's vocals in this are stunning as always. Um, I, I love the background vocals that were with it, the male vocals during the chorus. And like I stated already at the end, those really deep bass vocals at the end were incredible. Um, I could really hear the keyboards really clearly, more a little more clearly on the studio version um, than I could on the, the Vakken 2013. Um, that's cool. I definitely love the composition of it. And I feel like this is just a really cool song. Um, I definitely want to hear this again. I, I am big into ballads. Uh, you know, I've always been into ballads and, you know, whenever I would get a new album when I was, you know, a teenager or in my twenties, you know, there would be the, the big, you know, loud song. Right. But I would always look for that ballad, you know, like, uh, like for example, Michael Jackson's man in the mirror, right? That whole album bad was just really good, really great music throughout. But then, you know, there was just those couple slow songs in there that were just amazing. And that man in the mirror had so much self-reflection. And I think this How's the Heart, you know, it's got some depth like that. And I really appreciate that. All right. So I'm getting ready now to go and do this double feature for you guys. You guys have suggested this double feature of Nightwish now. So I'm going to get it ready here. How's the heart acoustic session from Planet Rock acoustic session? Everybody, uh, I really enjoyed uh, checking out the Planet Rock, Planet Rock acoustic session and double feature of Nemo. And I remember just how impressed I was uh, with with not only uh, Troy and Floor and how amazing they sounded together, but also how the songwriting of Nemo just translated so incredibly well into, um, you know, this acoustic version. And so after just loving that song, How's the Heart, getting to see the lyrics from the lyric video, I'm really excited to see how How's the Heart is going to trans, trans uh, you know, be arranged into, be transformed into this awesome acoustic version. And I, now knowing, uh, you know, the, the musicianship of Troy and Floor, uh, I, I'm just, I, I, I can't wait. Here we go. Without further ado, here we go. Planet Rock. That's gorgeous. Child, we meet a stranger for a 
exile How's the heart while it still beats Asks and no one Another John Doe Sorrow hides well in your shell A fellow man with her to spare Here I am to share the fear An act of kindness Without a name and How's the heart underneath the silence? How's the wrong drowning in the mire? Let a sound to you and my pain. Come in the fire's warm, burn the rope and add some more. the sea Shared a story Took the lead Rose a brooded head and out You know where You've been there Now there's one who came from me A child of light Another tale Dear one Night will come but not to stay in the house, the heart underneath the silence, house, the one drowning in the mire, let a sound, you burn pain, come in the fire's warm, burn the rope and then some more. that filled the gap you know i i wanted a ballad you know more more than nemo i mean nemo was nemo was pretty good but i wanted a real ballad and that was it i just got it wow oh oh man the musicianship the vocals it was was like perfect i I think there might have been one line that joy didn't say towards the end in the chorus you know coming back in I, i didn't hear him sing a harmony Oh my God! It's live. It's wonderful. <laughs> Touched my heart. I I miss playing live so much. My 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 hat's off to Thomas. The composition of that song. My my hat's off to Troy and Floor for that arrangement. It was just gorgeous. I mean, I can't even I can't even 
look at this webcam like with my usual like enthusiasm after that like i'm just i'm just i'm 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 just, I'm just taking it back and i mean that that's my kind of music there i mean i love it i mean i i always love ballads you know and i like the i like the jiggy feel i like it you know it makes it fun it makes it like dance and and they were able to keep that riff that troy was playing that in the introduction it didn't have exactly the same energy, you know, as it did with him and Empu playing it. But I mean, it was basically the same music. And oh man, all those little intricate guitar fills in there. It was just, it was just flawless guitar work, Troy. I, oh man. I mean, you know, and, and one of the things that I thought about during the break between season one and season two of The Sound, um, you know, as I was watching other reactors doing their reactions to the, some of the songs that I've already react to, you know, and, and, and learning from some of these people that, that do such great breakdowns, you know, some of these people like the charismatic voice, Sabina, you know, Doug Helver, Helverton, um, you know, uh, Kia Jeebs, just to mention a few of you guys, uh, you, you guys have taught me so much and shout out to all you guys. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing and, you know, helping me to, uh, you know, make these videos better. And, um, and I thank you to you guys for, for requesting how's the heart and how's the heart acoustic. Um, I want to do this again, this video again and show it to my wife. That was originally what you guys wanted, uh, was for me to show these songs to my wife so that she could get all of her, um, her, her tingles in the right places, you know, and I, I think that that floor acoustic there, how's the heart <laughs> that will do it that will do it i mean it was just second to none first class musicianship an incredible performance just genuine tears welling up in my eyes just because they were so real so present the love that i felt from that performance and you know the the crew too the the made the sound and and lighting and, and everything you know everybody just like I said for Vodka 2013, I mean, flawless. Man, you know, Nightwish, music like this, that, that, this is the way that I, I wish that popular rock metal had gone, you know, 91, 92 in America, and, and it didn't. It went a totally different direction. And, um, I just love symphonic and prog metal so much, guys. One other thing I want to talk about before I end this first video of Season 2 of The Sound for this um is, you know, I was thinking about which member of Nightwish am I the most like, you know? And it, it honestly, it comes down to to a toss-up between Tuomas and Troy. I know, they're very different. <laughs> but um, thinking about it, you know, um, I love to sing, but um, I'm not the epic front person like Floor. Um, that's not me. And personally, I like to have an instrument when I'm singing, either a guitar or a saxophone or something. You know, just standing up on the stage with the microphone and owning it has never been my, my forte. Uh, another thing um, is I'm super big into songwriting. And, you know, I like writing stuff for, you know, other people to play. So that's kind of where the whole Tuomas thing comes, comes in. But I'm not a keyboard player. Like, I mean, I understand the keyboard, but I certainly don't perform on it. I'm more of the multi-instrumentalist, you know, like Troy. And I like to take and arrange songs like How's the Heart um, into like something like that acoustic version of How's the Heart. Man, that was just so incredible an arrangement. I can't say it enough. Um, so it's honestly a toss up between those two because, you know, I like being the leader and the songwriter, but yet I also like being the multi-instrumentalist, sit in the back and do whatever I need to do. Um, uh, the, the, you know, the, and the other members of the band, you know, Empu, you know, with his crazy pick slides, man, man, you know, he, he would just bring so much intensity to the music and, you know, Marco was incredible bass lines I, in that house of heart. There was a couple of times where I just heard his bass lines, you know, just, just making the song, uh, in that moment. And then when they translated the acoustic version, you know, obviously without the bass guitar, I mean, it, 
Even though the bass line was so epic and so incredible, it was nothing was missing in the acoustic version. I'm going to listen to it over and over and over and over again. I'm going to download it and, and, and pay for it and put it, put it in my personal music collection, especially that acoustic version. Man, that is gorgeous. So... Welcome to season two of The Sound, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with me as I'm opening up my heart and sharing my deepest personal feelings about this incredible music that you guys suggested. This was the number one most requested video uh, leading into season two. So go ahead and put your requests for future reacts in the comments down below. This is a democracy, so I'm going to react to the most popular ones first okay just keep that in mind so go ahead and thumbs up on the suggestions that you like and that counts as you know seconding thirding voting for it all right so we're gonna see which one can get the most likes just like this video please like it share everybody i want you guys to see this i feel like this has definitely been my best react video ever and make sure that you subscribe to my channel, Matthew's Music Lesson Studio, where I do all kinds of great stuff. Um, I do cover songs. I do original music. And coming now, live streaming. The last thing on my list that I've got to tackle for 2021, live streams. I'll see you guys next time on The Sound.